Okay, now, now, the third thing is a little bit complicated is CDA can normally is dx dy or dy dx it doesn't matter the order well no matter but you know you apply one order no? and the new variable uh, da i need to express it like a function of du dv and by the way it's not equal you want to prove no equal i want to prove okay to say i i have this integral the integral function is this function uh -huh. The region R is this region. Okay, by the way, uh -huh, I copy this picture, but this is in, in decimal because I, I did in algebra. Okay, that point is 0, 0,0. That point is in fraction, two thirds, comma, two thirds. Uh -huh. This point in fraction is two thirds again, but on negative, comma, negative one third, the y value. And this point is the point four third, comma one third. Uh, it's like a parallelogram. Uh, and this is zero zero, no? obviously. You want to integrate using the traditional way, so the, the way it's given. It's extremely complicated because I don't know si I integrate in this direction. Si I integrate in this direction, I need to split the two parts. The integral all integrate in this direction and you split into part. So this is possible. I, I know it's possible, however, it's hard. What is the idea? Well, the idea is change the variable. So substitute for the new variable UV. Okay. Uh, let's just start. I want to explain so the, the most complicated part is discover what is the equation for the substitution. I try to explain in two different ways. And you make a decision what way you prefer. For example, I have four points in the parallelogram. I find the equation one by one of this uh, side. No? The equation for this side is y equal x. Okay, this is easy. I don't want to dedicate time to explain how you get the equation of the line when you have two points. No? You find the slope, in this case one, uh -huh, and you apply here the formula, the equation of the line. Uh -huh, the equation for this line is uh, x equal y plus one, this line. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, okay, the, let me put a color, red color. Uh -huh. ah, 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 and the green color, okay, this and this. Okay, it's another line. Uh, uh, actually, it's a segment, no? Wow. Uh, therefore, the equation I found, the equation for this, is uh, negative x over 2 equal y, because it's lowest of negative 1 half, it's going down. And the equation for this is um y equal uh, two minus x over two okay i suppose that this is easy this is no big deal for us now you have to point you compute the slow you compute what using one point point slow formula maybe uh, and you find the equation of the line but the important thing is that i realize that the uh, x value, so look in the red segment, x value is in between, is in between y and y plus 1. Uh -huh. uh, and also, let me copy here, y, look in the green segment, is in between negative x over 2 and 2 minus x over 2. And if you manipulate a little bit, how you manipulate? Well, well you, for example, you subtracting y here, minus y, 
minus y. Do you understand y? This is 0. Uh -huh. This is x minus y. And this is cancel out, and this is 1. Mm -hmm. I try to guarantee that the limit, lower limit and upper limit, maybe is a constant, just a number without variable. This is easy. Okay, now, now, to say now, let me manipulate similar, similar, the idea here. The idea is multiplication by two. If you multiplication by two whole thing, you have minus x is less than or equal to y, less than or equal to minus x. Uh -huh. If you, for example, you adding x plus x, you adding x, you adding x here. We have zero here, zero. We have um, x plus 2y. Uh -huh. And those in this case, you have two. Wow, exactly the same intention. Look, in the, in the limit, we have just numerical value. So, so you declare, this is the complicated part, guy. Okay, this expression is u. And this expression is b. The set of equation can we use it for the substitution? So this part, this part is, well, is u in between 0 and 1 and b in between 0 and 2. Okay, this is my new, new region. This is the region R. But I am ready. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I make a mistake here. It's okay, but no, 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 it's a moment to declare this. Okay, basically, u is equal x minus y, and b is equal x plus 2y. This is the mathematical relationship between u and b and x1. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this is the most complicated part. So not always is elementary, not always is easy, not always is straightforward uh -huh, to find that. This is the, and the majority of the problem you see in the book, uh, the transformation is given. So uh, apply substitution when you're using this transformation. So this information is given. Okay, okay, okay. But I want to explain more. Can okay, maybe clarify. Suppose que I using another idea. The second step is do the graph of the new region after the transformation. Because when you apply this transformation, uh -huh, our region is a little bit modified. So in order to do this job, I propose one idea. Look, I propose, okay, I can write this is equivalent a matrix language like a UB. Uh -huh. This is one, negative one, one, two, and this is x, comma, y. Okay, this is equivalent. This is equivalent. And this is super good, countable, super useful because working with the matrix, matrix is in this case two dimensional. So it says you automatically you convert the or the pair in the corner suppose this corner this corner this corner and this corner to a, a another region no? uh -huh. okay okay we we can do without matrix we can of course but see you are doing without matrix uh -huh. so you are doing without matrix uh -huh. uh, well is four point in total is a number, no? Because it's the order pair. So four times two. However, in the matrix, no, because in the matrix we can do that uh, like a order pair. So I want to suppose can I transform it the first no order pair gets zero comma zero. Now you take zero comma zero this point, you multiplication by the matrix, and you get the UB value that represent this. It's obvious it's the same, 0, 0. Because I recall quickly the multiplication of the matrix, you multiply this number times this number, this number times this number, and you get this number, right? 
And likewise, the second row, you multiply this times this, plus this times this, k0. In this case, 0, 0. So 0, 0 stays the same, doesn't change. And the other point may be yes. So you, for example, take the second case, two third, two third, one, negative one, one, two, two third, two third. Uh -huh. And when you multiplication, look at that, is two third minus one third is zero, is two third and four third is six third, okay, is two. Wow, good. Okay, and the new region, the point two third comma two third is transformed by zero comma two. But this zero is u and this two is b. Okay, now one negative one, one two multiplication by, for example, I don't know, the third the third point is four third, one third, uh -huh. Is uh, four third minus one third is three third get one get one and this is a uh, four third minus two third is two because it's six. Uh huh. And the last one is okay. I I prefer doing a matrix four. However, no mandatory. Uh, suppose two third one third two third negative one third okay the last point this point uh-huh when your multiplication is one zero me checking quickly two third uh, plus one third three third okay, well. uh, two third minus two third is zero okay to so say now the transformation is something like that it show you I have an image here with the transformation. Oh, look at that. Let me enlarge the picture. A little bit. Okay. Okay, now you see now, okay. Zero comma zero gets this corner. Look. A transformer in this corner. Um, uh, to turn to turn, que es this point, es transforme like this point. Okay, this point, que es 4 third, 1 third es 1,2, es this point. Ajá, uh -huh. and the last point, que es this, es 1,0, es this point. Entonces, magically, magically, this is magic, I straighten out my parallelogram Y after the transformation, it's a, it's a linear, planar transformation, I get this new region, que es obvio que es too easy, the integration. The integration is too easy. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, because I, when I integrate this, it's a, a, a rectangle, no? Because it's too easy. Okay, everyone follow me so far? Yeah, I don't finish, of course. I, I, now I need to explain the complicated part is the, the differential. Everyone follow me so far? Okay, good. Ricardo, Robin, Fitby, Daniel Giraldo, Alejandro Riste, Alejandro Riste, wow. Hey, Leonardo, Brandon, Thomas, Victoria, Omar Borja, Heidi, Bajor, David Restrepo, Jocelyn Hernandez. Uh, how do you do the second matrix again? How do you do the second matrix? What is the second matrix? Second matrix? I have only one matrix. Okay, I have only one matrix. Is this? Uh, the second point you found. Oh, okay, the second point. This is the second point for you? Gerardo, this is the second point? Aha. Uh -huh. Your multiplication, uh, the, the procedure, linear algebra or precalculus, uh, you multiply the row one, so one, the, the procedure to multiply matrix and vector in this case, it's a vector, it's, you multiply one times this, plus this times this. So say one 
time to third is two third. A negative one time two third is negative two third. And addition together is zero. Now, uh, one time two third is two third. Two third and two times two is four third. And four third is six third, que okay, two. Got it? Daniel? It's okay or no? Come on, guy. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the complicated part. This is the easy part. This is just linear algebra. A little bit or pre calculate depending on your. Okay. To send, uh -huh. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Okay. The thing is, okay, let me try to explain the relationship between the differential, DA. DA. Okay, in our original matrix, no specification, the order is dx dy or dy dx, exactly like the last class. But in this case, I need to, when you set out the new integral after the substitution, the differential is du dB. But what is the problem? What is the problem? The problem is, I can see, okay, this area, look, this area, in the region R1, this area, looking at the geometry, no, no calculus, is two. Because one times two is just two. However, this area mm, 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 is a little bit more complicated, but not too big, because I can split like a two triangle. So I know that the area of the triangle is one half the base and height. No? I know the geometry like that. Uh -huh. So the base is one, because that distance is one, no? The distance between two thirds and negative one third is one, no? This segment is one, the length of this segment is one, and this is two thirds. Uh -huh. So it's, the, it's one half, the base is one, two thirds. It's one third. So the area of this part is one third, but using the symmetry, the area of that part, I suppose, gets the same. The area is twice. The area here is two-thirds. Uh -huh. However, when you are doing the transformation, the area is two. So it's obvious. It's obvious. The thing I try to prove is that dx dy is not equal du dv. Okay, so I try to derivate the formulas to obtain this and you know, in this particular example is in, in general. No? It's obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious in this particular example, dx dy is equal du dv divided by 3, no? Because the area here is twice, it's two total. It's a total. It is a total. But this is a one specific region. So, okay, now I, I try to do the sketch for the one elementary rectangle here. Uh -huh, and this is dUdB. This is the axis of U. This is the axis of B. Uh -huh. However, when you transform this elementary infinitesimal, a rectangular and this you obtain something like that a little bit curvy no curvy you know like a inclination okay remember the transformation help me to straighten out the parallel and convert it to rectangular no uh -huh. to say, see i suppose to say this is the 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 dx dy whatever you want dx this da da in general for in x y x this is x y x uh -huh. so the formula is look 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 i suppose in my mind okay this look like this i make a zoom i make a zoom this small uh, parallelogram this is small this is small parallelogram and this side uh -huh. And this side I consider like a vector, and this side I consider like a vector. In order to find the area, I use the cross product. 
of this vector, cross product this vector. Remember the interpretation cross product is the area in the parallelogram. Uh -huh. Entonces, this is, I want to call uh, this vector R U D U. Because come from, from this, is D, D U. And this is R B D V. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing a transformation power. So basically, I need to do the cross product R U cross product R B uh -huh, multiplication D U D V. Oh, okay. I suppose that this guy, look, when I compute that, this equal one third in our specific sample. Uh -huh. So how you find that? Well, calculus. Calculus. Calculus 3. So R U is equal a vector, que es partial derivative de x with respect de u, coma, partial derivative de y with respect de u, because it's u, coma zero. Uh, because, uh, remember, uh, cross product is defined in three dimensions. However, my problem is not three dimensions, it's two dimensions. So the component, the third component is zero. But it's important, it's important. And you perform now R, uh, the vector R and B is similar. It's partial derivative of the X with respect to B, comma, partial derivative of uh, Y with respect to B, comma, zero. And you perform the, the cross product. Okay, the cross product, I, J, K, uh-huh, this is partial derivative x with respect to u, partial derivative y with respect to u, zero. Partial derivative x with respect to b, partial derivative y with respect to b, zero. Uh -huh. When you expand this determinant, it's no hard to see that the only component that has value is the k component, no? because we remember when you delete this and this, k, k the rest is zero. Because you, for example, you take I, one entire uh, uh, column is zero, and the determinant is zero. Uh -huh. Entonces, actually, stay only partial X with respect to U, partial Y with respect to B, the U, sorry, U, this is U. Partial X with respect to B, and partial Y with respect to B. Okay, 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 okay. So now I want the, the magnitude of this. Actual value, magnitude and actual value. So say, of course, you remove the k, like a vector. No? So say, actually, the factor of conversion in between the transformation is this determinant. Okay, by the way, this determinant is called Jacobian. Jacobian, everyone in the world is, is very well known like Jacobian. Jacobian is the last name of the mathematicians who apply this idea the first time. Jacobian, Jacob. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, eh, basically, the Jacobian, uh -huh, the notation that we use for Jacobian, there are several notations. Jacobian, for example, this is Jacobian x, y. You need to be familiar. Uh, you don't need to remember this proof. You need to remember the formula, only the formula, and apply the formula in any in any problem. Jacobian x y uh -huh. is this is symbolic way, guy. This is delta or del delta yeah. x comma y and delta u comma b. This is one uh -huh, when the x and y is in the top and U and B, and in the bottom, this is this Jacobian. But we have another Jacobian, que es Jacobian, eh, UB, UB, que es different, es U, B, es eh, delta UB over eh, eh, delta XY. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and this is the guy that we need. Okay, in our specific example, I come back again to the our specific example. The matrix of the transformation was the matrix of the transformation was 
1, negative 1, 1, 2. Ahí supongo que you remember that. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, now, in this case, you determine here the determinant. Ok, this is determinant. Determinant, Jacobian es determinant. Ok, 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 look, look, look. The, for, the equation was, ok, the equation was, look. A u es igual a x menos y, b es igual a x plus 2y. Ajá, uh -huh. for example, when you compute the partial derivative de u, we respect the, eh, eh, sorry, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. You forget about this. You determine the determinant. Determinant is okay. Okay. Determinant. Determinant. Determinant of this matrix is one negative one, one and two. Uh huh. You multiply this and multiply this. This is two. Plus one es three. Uh, es three. Que es exactly the relationship. Pero no. No three, sino the reciprocal. Ok. This is the Jacobian. This is the Jacobian. This is Jacobian. Three. And this Jacobian is the reciprocal. Que es one third. So you don't need to. So you can find the Jacobian in this order. O de Jacobian en this order. O sea, es partial u with respect x, partial eh, b o u again with respect to y, partial b with respect to x, and partial b with respect to the, the y. And this is the Jacobian, uh -huh, u, comma b, que en the notation for the Jacobian es this. Uh, and you see that this and this is the reciprocal because it's completely flipped, reciprocal. Uh -huh, entonces, in conclusion, in conclusion is, what is the formula that you need to know? Bueno, the formula is Jacobian eh, x, y ub multiplication by du db is equal dx dy es de, de conexión. Entonces, this represent, in my opinion, geometrically, this is a number and represent the, the factor of conversion between the area. Que en our specific problem, es numerical, es one value, que es one, one third. Entonces, when you set out the integral, so you find the Jacobian and now ready to come back to the transformation, y of course, I, I like set up the integral no in the original R, sino in the new R prime region. Uh -huh. Entonces, now, look, 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 look. You come back. You come back to this. Look, the original integral. Look, this is the original integral. This is the original integral. Now, the, the region here is R prime. Uh -huh, but I don't want to write R prime. I want to put the limit directly. And I can see, que, for example, the integrand function, que was the first part, is x minus y, que in our case is u. ¿Cuánto es u? Integral u. Integral u. Integral u what? Integral u. Entonces, we have the u dx, o the v doesn't matter the order, the u dv, divided by 3, because the Jacobian is one third. Uh -huh. And the limit is, look, look here, suppose que I integrate, integrate in, bueno, uh, in this direction, in this direction, or in this direction. Okay, basically, uh, u vary from 0 to 1. Uh -huh. and be very from zero to two. Wow, easy. Rectangular, I take advantage of the rectangular. And to say now, it's easier because one third is a constant, put outside. And to say this integral, 
okay, have the limited constant, and we can, se can separate the variable. We can compute it like a two integral separately and multiplication, and that's it. So it says u du from zero to one time integral zero to two dv. Well, this is, uh, well, this is uh, u squared over two evaluated between zero and one. Uh -huh. This is one half, so one third times one half, and this is two because the integral dv with respect to bsb evaluating between zero and two is two. So the answer is one third. But the value for this integral is one third. Uh -huh. Let me try, let me try, let me try to summarize the step for doing substitution in two dimensions. Yeah, I promise that in the triple integral we are doing in three dimensions, no? Okay, um, the step is, step, step one, que es, in my opinion, the most complicated part, is identify, identify substitutions. What mean that? Well, is try to find the set of equation of the substitution. See, it's given, it's, 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 it's given, perfect. But it's not given. You try to find the properly substitution, no? There always there's a challenge in, one, in calculus one, in one dimension, in, in, in calc three is more complicated. Okay, in the step two is find Jacobian. Find Jacobian. Jacobian is a number, or not necessarily a number, depending on the problem. Maybe it's a function. But what Jacobian? The Jacobian UB. Que es delta XY, delta UB. Uh -huh. Because I know that DX, DY, or DY, DX, is equal to this Jacobian. Multiplication by du dv, dv or dv du doesn't matter. This is a step two. Step three uh -huh, is rewrite the integrand function. So the integrand function, integrand function using the new variable, no? Okay, you be. Okay, and uh, normally the integral function is given, look at this example, x, y. No, 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 no. In this case, uh, when I re determine the substitution, I see uh, x minus y together as u. Okay, so I put u, only u. But no, always happen this situation. No? And so finally, finally, step three is rewrite the function, uh -huh, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. step four gets the most complicated. Oh, no, 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 no most, but it's complicated. It's Determine the new region. Determine the new region. Determine new region. Okay, I call I call R prime, no? Because the region is R, R prime. And finally, step five. Step five is combine everything together. Combine everything together. Everything together. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's practice. Let's practice. I bring some problem. Mm -hmm. That was the introduction example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's see another more. Okay. In my opinion, you understand much better, no? Okay. Any any question, guy? Yes, the thing that we are doing is substitution. Substitution in two dimension. The substitution in two dimension is more complicated. Why is more complicated? Because we have, remember, double integral, we have integral, we have region. I need to convert the region. I need to find the equation of the conversion. Uh -huh. You need to find the Jacobian. What is the Jacobian? Jacobian is a factor. It gives me a relationship between the original area and the new area. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and let's see this example. Look, example two. Example two is double integral in the region R of the x, y, d. 
Remember, you, I put the A because there's no specification on the order of the integration. And also the region is given. Uh, sometimes the region is given graphically. Sometimes no. Sometimes it is, is, is given algebraically. Okay, okay. In this case, it's given graphically. So we have two parabola, for example. Two parabola. The first parabola is y equal x squared. The second parabola is y equal 4x squared, increasing faster. And we have two hyperbola. One hyperbola like that, at least one branch of the hyperbola, que es x, y equal 5. And another hyperbola, que es x times y equal 1. Mm -hmm. And this is my region. This is my region. This is the region R that I need to draw from. Okay? Okay. In this case, it's easy to see what are the, 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 the formulas, no? the, the expression that you apply to, to make a substitution. Because, for example, I define, I define B like XY. Si I define B like X, Y, es obvio que B vary from 1 to 5. And this is the idea. Convert this nonlinear region, in this case, in one rectangular. Okay? This is the proper substitution. And uh, what about parabola? Well, the parabola is a little bit more complicated because the parabola I can see, for example, so you divide you divide y over x squared is equal 4. And you divide here y over x squared is equal 1. Uh -huh. So you define u like a y over x squared. And you vary from uh, 1 to 4. Uh -huh. So when you are doing the graph, the new region and the new variable, okay, u, b, This is U, this is B. My new region is given in U from 1 to 4. 1 to 4. And B from 1 to 5. Wow, always I try to be rectangular or depending, no? No, 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 always a rectangular. Boom. This is my new region. This is the region R prime. Okay, at least uh -huh, I did that part. No necessary in this order. Okay, now let me compute the Jacobian. The Jacobian first. Jacobian is, let me copy the formula. We compute always Jacobian. So we need Jacobian x comma y you be. However, I know that the Jacobian you be. How do you know which call you? Uh -huh. This is a challenge. Uh, Daniel, this is a challenge. <laughs> uh, well, you see one example, two example, three example, four example, and you see what is the mechanical of this. Mechanical is I have a complicated region. I try to transform it to the more uh, easier region. Uh, easier is when the rectangle or triangle. So basically it's more, you know, linear. So now you using your common sense and imagination. And uh, there are no one unique way to do that. There are several ways and you using, in this case, I explain this, no? So I, I can seek, for example, X times Y is common here, vary from one to five. So it's, it's good to call U or B. It doesn't matter. I call B, but it doesn't matter. It, 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 you, I call U. It's the same, but uh, the region is, um, you know, rotate 90 degrees. No? Uh -huh. So I saw uh, one and four, 
pero one of four, this is a no linear, it's a parabola, no? Entonces, no, no, si you, for example, you isolate the number one of four, is y over x squared, entonces I call this like a u, no? Entonces, the Jacobian, let's focus in the, the Jacobian, que the Jacobian is always a little bit tricky. O sea, this is the Jacobian that we need. We need that. However, mm -mm -mm. so far we have no clear the equation of the conversion and the conversion in that direction. However, the equation that I have in my hand is this equation and this equation. Uh -huh. okay, this equation is totally power. It's the equation that states relationship between u and b and x and y. No x and y, u and b. We can use in algebra. We can use in algebra uh, to modification, but it's too hard. Oh no, very complicated. No, no. So what is the super efficient way to do that? You compute another Jacobian. Uh -huh, Aha, okay, is let me copy the formula. Partial u with respect to x, partial u with respect to y, partial b with respect to x. Partial B with respect to Y. This is the formula, Jacobian. This is Jacobian. Uh -huh. Entonces, I'm using this because I have the formula in that way. It's, uh, the formula isolate UB like a function of X and Y. So, it's easy. Okay, let's do in the partial derivative in this case. Partial derivative, partial derivative, partial derivative. The so partial derivative, mm, 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 partial derivative of u, okay, I take this expression, u is equal y, x to the minus 2, I put like that, no? And when you apply the partial derivative u with respect to x, well, y is constant, and you apply power rule here, minus 2 go from to the front, and subtracting 1, so the actual is minus 2 y over x cubed, no? Uh -huh. Partial derivative u with respect to y, well, is derivative y with respect to y is 1, so it's 1 over x squared. I suppose can you follow me, partial derivative? Uh -huh. Partial derivative, yes. Partial derivative b with respect to x is y. And partial derivative b with respect to uh, the y is x. Okay. And we compute this determinant. Multiplication this and this plus multiplication this and this minus. Uh huh. So say a is actually is minus 2y. XQE multiplied by x minus y over x squared. Well, 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 I, this is cancel out at least one x. This is minus 2y over x squared minus y over x squared. Uh -huh. It's light term. We combine. It's minus 3. Minus 3y x squared. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's important to understand that the Jacobian is always absolute value. So you get the negative answer. No, you find the absolute value. So this bar it's determinant, no? But it's actual value of this. ABS, actual value. However, this is the Jacobian that we don't need. But I know that the connection in between both Jacobian is the reciprocal. So the, the Jacobian that we need to set out in the integral is the reciprocal of this and positive. So it's x squared over 3y. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, good. However, I want to express it. This Jacobian, no, using X and Y. No, 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 no. Using U and B. But I know, I know that U, look, 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 U is Y over X squared. It's exactly the reciprocal of this. So we can express it like a u over 3. Uh, sorry, reciprocal. Reciprocal. Entonces, reciprocal is 
1 over 3u. Okay, u is y over x squared, reciprocal, reciprocal, if x squared, y, exactly this game. Entonces, this is the Jacobian. This is the region. Now we are ready to put everything together. I suppose que yes. Okay, we have double integral. So this double integral is equal this new double integral. Okay, the integral function is xy. Pero I know it's a coincidence que xy is b. Entonces b. Multiplication by DA, pero DA es, look, 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 DA, que es DX, DY, es de Jacobian, Jacobian, da Jacobian, X, Y, que es this expression, multiplication by DU, DB. Entonces, es 1 over 3U, ajá, DU, DB o DB, DU. And B and U vary, so U vary from 1 to 4. And B vary from 1 to 5. Entonces, this is relatively easy to uh, compute this integral. It's possible separating two integral, because remember, it's possible when the limit is a constant. Si it's no constant, no. And the integral function is separate. So say I can separate like that. Okay, one third is constant. You integration, for example, in u bar from one to four, so says the u over u. Time, another integral from one to five. B dB. Wow, easy. Okay, this is natural. This is one third. This is a natural logarithmic absolute value u. Okay, we're in between one four. And this is one third. Logarithm of 4, natural logarithm of 4, and natural logarithm of 1 is 0. And the B part is B squared divided by 2, equivalent between 1 and 5. So this is like a 25. So 1 half I put outside. So this is 25 minus 1 is 24. 24 over 2 is 12. So what is the final answer? Well, the final answer is, well, well 12 divided by 34 is 4. Natural logarithm of four. It's a beautiful final answer. Okay, okay, okay. One more time. Summarize, summarize, summarize. The most complicated part is determine this equation. Uh huh. Um, well, uh, this is a challenge. This is very, very hard. Uh, and the majority of the problem, this is given. Okay, don't worry for this. Secondly, uh, do the transformation of the region and do the sketch. Uh, next, compute Jacobian. And to say we have two Jacobian, no? We need the Jacobian in which x, y in the top, u, b in the bottom. Uh -huh, because this expression, we compute that Jacobian, no? So it doesn't matter what Jacobian you compute it because the relationship between the Jacobian and the uh, reciprocal. Okay. Okay. Now, finally, put everything together. Limit the new bond. The integral function is present the function, the new variable is u and b. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and this, this is two dimension, guy. You suppose three dimension. That's the same, the same algorithm, the same mechanical thing. Jacobian, uh, in, in, uh, in the, uh, the region, transformation of the region, but the, the region is not 2D, you know, it's 3D. Okay, let's see one more example. And that's it, because I want to explain another important thing. One more example, one more, one more. Yeah, I suppose it's enough. I suppose it's enough. Suppose, suppose, suppose this double integral. Mm -hmm. The integral function is 6 of 6x, 1, 
plus y minus x cubi dy dx. Mm -hmm. No is given the region graphically, but we can do that if you want. Uh -huh. However, I saw that the order of the integration is y first. So y vary from x squared plus x to x squared plus 1. Uh, so you subtracting, for example, this uh, inequality. You subtracting x squared. Intentionally, we get x. We get um, y minus x squared. Forgot the square here. Sorry. Uh, in the right hand side, we have only one. Okay, so you declare this guy like a U. And this, by the way, is exactly the same as this. This is the glue. So one a variable uh, uh, look like similar to the region and also belong to the integrate function is possible to the substitution. Uh, 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 X very from 0 to 1. Oh, it's nice. So I declare x like a b. This is b. So basically, my region, my region is, 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 let me write here. My region is u vary from 1 to x, but x and b. Wow. And B vary from zero to one. Okay. So you want to do the sketch of this region. Uh -huh. it actually it's not rectangular. Because but wait, wait a second. This is this is UB, no XY. After I want to do XY. Uh -huh. is a uh, big barrier from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. But you vary from B to 1. Now say you have, for example, you have, for example, remember the idea that we use in double integral. So you take that part. The equation is U equal 1. And U equal 1 represents a line here, 1. Uh -huh. And you take that part. Uh, entonces, B equal U, no? Ah, this is a line. It's a line like that. Look. It's a line. At this point, it's a point 1, 1, no? And this is my region. My region bounded in between, look, here. From... Uh -huh. U vary from B to 1 in that direction and b from 0 to 1. So we can integration if you want in that direction. Suppose that you are doing in the original. Let me try by curiosity. The original region. This is R prime, the new region after the transformation. This is x, this is y. Uh, we have, well, we have, we have one parabola like this. Okay, starting one and open up. This is the y equal x squared plus 1, no? Uh, and we have another parabola. Okay, this. This parabola is a little bit weird. But it's okay. It's acceptable because this parabola is starting the origin. Look. Open up. Because the quadratic term is positive. So I suppose it's something like that. And this is my original region. This is my original region. Yes, obvio. It's obvious that the intersecting point is 0 and 1. That is the reason that the guy can set up this integral doing in this order. Integrate y first. Okay. 
from the parabola we are and the parabola uh, no we are uh -huh, and after you expand a little okay either way either way now what is the next step jacobian 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 what kind of jacobian the regular jacobian well okay 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 let's compute jacobian this jacobian Okay, the Jacobian is partial derivative u with respect to x, partial derivative uh, b with respect to x. I changed it in my paper. Remember, guy, and the determinant you can permutation column and row, so I transpose, and the answer doesn't change. So I do, the ordering is not important. I put u here with respect to x, the y, sorry, and partial the b with respect to y. Feel free to change the order. Bueno, no, 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 totally crazy, no? You suppose que you change row by color. Entonces, stay the same. Okay, partial derivative. Okay, okay, okay. I come back to this. Partial derivative. Partial derivative u. Okay, who is u and who is b? Okay, let me copy here. I always forgot, but this is important moment. u is equal y minus x squared and b is x. This is the set of the equation in which you need to apply partial derivative. Uh -huh. So say it's partial derivative, partial derivative, u with respect to x is, well, 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 minus 2x, no? Make it sense, right? You differentiate this expression with respect to x, y is a constant, zero, and derivative is a minus 2x, super. Partial derivative b with respect to x is 1. Partial derivative u with respect to y is 1. And partial derivative b with respect to y is 0. Uh -huh. This is my Jacobian. What Jacobian? Well, the Jacobian can state the relationship. No, the Jacobian that we need. You know, is this is ub x, y, uh -huh, because the, no, the variable in the top is u, b, the variable in the bottom is x, y, uh -huh, but I know okay, another Jacobian is the reciprocal, no? Okay, so say, you multiplication this and this, plus, a multiplication this and this minus, no? So say, the answer is negative one. Wow, it's good. Uh -huh, so say, I don't care the sign, never I care the sign. I care the, the, the Jacobian one positive one, actual value. Aha, uh -huh. now the reciprocal, que es de another Jacobian que we need, que es Jacobian x, y, u, b. Aha, uh -huh. que maybe it's complicated, according to the expression, you select, you select at least one, the, 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 the Jacobian you consider easier, and another is the reciprocal, but in this case, it's one. Si es one, the reciprocal one is one. Wow, entonces, they are not factor. The factor is one. So the multiplier is one. So the area here and the area here is the same. Now ready. Ready, ready, ready to put everything together. Everything together. We have another double integral in the region R1 is the new one. The integral function. Let me try to manipulate this in order to express the integral function. The, the integral function is 6b, 1 plus u cubed. Because remember, y minus x squared is u. Look at that. And x is b. Okay. Jacobian is 1. I like that. So this is. is um, one, 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 db, 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 and the limit is, uh, for example, so you integrate here first, where it's put the, 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 the,
Mm -hmm. And finally, we're extending in those directions from zero to one. Well, in this case, we cannot. We cannot. We cannot separate this integral in two because the limit is not constant. The limit is a variable. Okay, you put in one from alpha, whatever you want. The answer is natural logarithm. Wow. Look like we are, eh? Uh -huh, but what is the fantastic application of this that we're using every day from now? Okay. The, the most important transformation, substitution, and double and triple integral is polar. Let me recall quickly polar. Polar coordinate. Polar coordinate. Well, in polar coordinate, we change the variable that we have x, y, and to the new variable gets r and theta. I uh, know you b is r and theta. Okay, so now we have double integral or triple integral, well, double, double, double integral, like that. And you change to another region. Uh -huh, you modification. Uh -huh, entonces, x and y. What is the connection x and y? I know that x is equal to r cosine theta. y is equal to r sine theta. Uh -huh, uh, and also, I know that x, x squared plus, plus y squared is r squared. This is the most important formulas to stay relationship between Cartesians x, y and polar, r theta. The substitution, no x anymore, is r cosine theta. Uh -huh. a comma, 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 no parenthesis, sorry, comma, 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 y is r sine theta. Uh -huh. a da, now is the Jacobian. We need the Jacobian, Jacobian. Jacobian, in this case, is a Jacobian r theta, or xy, uh -huh, uh -huh. and d r d theta. Entonces, the, the thing I try to prove is the, what is the Jacobian and polar. Uh -huh. Entonces, everyone que take calculus 3, memorize what is the Jacobian and polar, and that's it. The Jacobian and polar is uh, Jacobian x y Jacobian uh, r theta. Uh -huh. is Partial derivative x with respect to r. Partial derivative x with respect to theta. Partial derivative y with respect to r. Partial derivative y with respect to theta. All right. Uh, look, this is the formula for the x. Partial derivative with respect to r is cosine. Partial derivative with respect to theta is minus r sine theta. So I di differentiate this with respect to r first, with respect to theta secondly. Uh, y, exactly the same, sine theta and r cosine theta. When you compute the determinant, multiplication this and this, multiplication this and this, and a negative sign, it's obvious that it's r cosine square theta plus, because we have minus double s, r sine square theta. Okay, now you know, you factorization r, cosine theta square plus sine square theta is a trigonometric identity, is, you know, get one, and the answer is just r. So the Jacobian and polar is r, just r. Therefore, you replace the x dy in any Cartesian integral, double integral, like r dr d theta. Uh -huh. And the student remember very well because look like you say like r dr d theta, r dr d theta, r dr d theta. Okay, it's like r r r r dr. Okay, this is this is Jacobian. I make a sense uh, because look 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 look. Uh, I try to find I try to find the the geometry meaning of this. For example, x y. 
x, y again, but you have polar here. Uh -huh. Suppose the rectangle dx, dy. Uh -huh. However, and polar look like, like that, like it could be, right? Uh -huh. Entonces, this segment, for example, is d theta. D theta, ese angle, d theta, theta, theta. Es theta, theta es like that, bueno. D theta, this angle, d theta. And this is dr. Differential. So I need to find the area of this. Uh -huh. I don't know if you remember the r length, r length, que okay, this length is r dr. R d theta, sorry. Uh, you multiplication. You consider it like a rectangle, but it actually it's not rectangle, it's a curve, but d theta and dr is super small to so say you consider it's negligible, the curve. R, so the area is, so the area, this area, the area is multiplication, dx dy. And this area is the multiplication, uh, r d theta dr. Okay, you organize in the order, the area is r dr d theta. This is one fantastic interpretation, not necessarily Jacobian, to understand this. Okay. Okay, so we spend the time that we have to do some problem of the polar. Polar, polar, polar. Apply in double integral polar. Polar integral. So you need to recognize that when you have one in double integral, for example, this double integral, sine x squared plus y squared dy dx. Uh -huh. We can do using the traditional way. Of course you can, but it's too hard. However, we apply polar because I take advantage the symmetry. The symmetry. But the symmetry of what? The symmetry of the region, no? I need to understand the region. The region is, look, this is this is dy. So this limit is y. This is y equals something, and this is y equals something. So y vary from zero to square root nine minus x squared, and x vary from negative three and positive three. Okay. With this information, we need to be we able to do the sketch of the region. Remember, you separate in two. This equation, now this equation is y equal, I convert to equation, no inequality, square root 9 minus x squared. So you square both sides, y squared is equal 9 minus x squared. Therefore, I move this x squared plus y squared equal 9. Wow, it's a circle. This is a circle with a center in the origin and the radius 3 because the square root 9 is 3. And so when you are doing the region, important to understand the region in which you are doing the double integral, no? It's a circle, radio 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Positive 3 and negative 3, because the limit is from positive 3 and negative. Ah, wait, wait, wait. We have the entire circle or semicircle. I suppose it's semicircle because the square root indicates only one branch of the circle is the positive sign is in front the square root f because it's the upper okay it's the upper it's the upper it's the upper like that and this is our region our region is this region okay uh-huh and the students or the guy can set up this integral let's do it in this order okay very good why? Why vary from zero to square root nine minus x squared? Okay, is this curve? And after extending from zero to three, this is the idea. I understand now the double integral. However, I want to modify in polar. 
Okay. So same polar. The only thing you should do is, well, I'll rewrite again the double integral. The integral function is this. Okay, is, well, I know okay, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So it's actually sine r squared. Jacobian for the polar, I know it's r dr detail. I don't care this because I know default K Jacobian is R, DR, R, just R. And R, this is a new idea, guy. R vary from 0 to 3. 0 to 3 is a constant. Look, this is the beauty of this. The limit here is the variable, complicated radical. No, no, no. And the theta vary from 0 to pi. Remember, from zero to pi, because it's a semicircle. And that's it. And that's it. I can separate, of course I can separate, because the limit is a constant. I can, I can separate, no. The limit is a variable, it's a function. You convert the horrible problem in one easy problem, and you separate like that. Look, integral from zero to pi, of the data alone, because we have no more than dependent data. Integral from 0 to 3, uh, sine r square r dr. This is the argument of the sign. OK. Uh, that part is easy. That part, integral d theta theta, the value in between 0 and pi is just pi. The answer of this part is pi. Pi times something. This part is a little bit more complicated, but it's easy. You apply substitution, integration by substitution, one more time substitution, no? but substitution in single variable. I declare, for example, u equal r square, and to say du is equal to r dr. Uh -huh, but I take advantage because we have r, we need extra two here. In order to doesn't affect, you multiply by one half here. So my, now I focus on one half, Integral sine u du. And the limit, and the limit is zero in, a, in r is u zero, and three in r is nine. Mm. Okay, now uh, anti derivative sine minus cosine, minus cosine, cosine u. Evaluating between zero and nine is negative one half. Okay, well, cosine nine. Nine is a radian minus cosine zero. Cosine zero, I know get one. Cosine zero, I know get one. Uh, and just wait, wait. Let me finish. I almost finished. This is one, and this negative and negative is positive. You say it's like a one. One one half, no. One half positive plus one half cosine nine. Nine radian, no? And don't forget pi. So my final answer in elegant way is pi over two. This pi is this pi. One half a factorization again, whatever you want, is one plus cosine of nine. Final answer. It's unbelievable. We are doing every day conversion to polar, conversion to polar, conversion to polar, conversion to polar. Make easy my problem. So you convert to polar. Uh -huh. I have another example. We have time? Yeah, we have time. We have time. Any question, guy? I want to hear opinion. Opinion, 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 opinion. Oh, somebody change the background. I tell you, okay, you don't do that. Okay? Shh, unbelievable. Oh, the bad guys. The bad guys. The bad guys can never hear today is coming and change the background, my background. Because I am not in my office, I am in the forest. It's playing calculus tree. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Any question? No problem. No, another problem of the polar. All good. Okay. All good. All good. Ricardo is all good. Wow. Let me see this. Double integral. Double integral from zero to one. From y to square root two minus y squared of x plus y dx dy. Uh -huh. uh, well, you solve that. Okay, right. by the way, you put it this in Wolfram Alpha. Maybe you get the solution, no? But oh, no, no, no. Do, do by hand is hard, very hard. So you can see, but what is the clue we give me information? Okay, the best way is convert to both. Well, I have no idea, but I do the region. See, the region is circular. Oh, it's not exactly circular, but it's something symmetric with respect to the origin. This is much better than in polar. No, in Cartesian. Ah, see, the region is square, rectangular, triangular. Maybe Cartesian is good, but see, it's circular, no. Okay, so I, I, I can see dx is first, so the order of the integration is x is first, x is in between y and square root 2 minus y squared. Uh -huh. And y is the second integral, is in between 0 and 1. To have some idea how it looks like my region, remember, you take that part, separately i copy x equal square root 2 minus y square i square both sides x square is equal 2 minus y square therefore x square plus y square equal to this is circle circle with the center and the origin and the radio is a square root so we have circle and this this look like like a polar when this is circle it's a circle with the center and the origin, but the radio is radical. Uh -huh. Okay, now I have another equation, which is this. Case, um, right here, x equal y, or y equal x, whatever you want to call it. It's a line. This is a line. And this is a line like that. It's a line. And this was x squared plus y squared equal to. Mm -hmm. However, the guy can set up this integral. You need to understand this. He is doing in this way. Look. How do you know that? Uh -huh. Because go from y. Okay, this is x equal y. And x equal circle. So I go from, from, from the x value of the line, k is y, to, to, to the x value of the circle, k is square root 2 minus y square. Okay, so basically, I understand Okay, my region is this region. Because after he extending from 0 to y, the one, like that. Uh -huh. This point, I suppose it's the point 1, 1. He extending this direction from 0, y to 1. This is my region. I identification the region. Good, very good. Ah, but oh, no, no, no. I don't like Cartesian. I want to set up my new integral using polar. Okay. The first thing is convert the integrand function, which is x plus y. Well, I, I know that x is r cosine theta plus y is r sine theta. I did that. Done. Multiplication by the Jacobian, which is r 
dr d theta. Uh -huh. Entonces, normally, the order of the integration in polar is classical. You integrate first with respect to r. And secondly, you integrate with respect to theta. As always, no, no, never is, is different. Entonces, es, ok, entonces, a integration with the respect to r is easy because I go from zero to radical two. This is r, range. And theta, no. Theta, when you open the, the piece of k here, is from zero to pi over four. How do you know it's pi over four? 45 degree? Because there's a line y equal x. Here is 45 degree. Uh huh. And that's it. The rest is just, I don't know. Let's do it by hand. Let's do it in Wolfram Alpha, or whatever you want. In the review package, I am doing everything. And now here, I don't want to watch the time with the algebra and the integration get calculated one. And the answer is in the review package, yes. In the review package, I am doing step by step. Everything. Boom. Final answer. Any question? Any question? Mm -hmm. We have time to two more examples. Polar, polar, important, super important, extremely important. Ricardo, all good? Ricardo, all good? <laughs> yes, sir. Ricardo, everything okay? Let's, let's, yeah, you, you get the mechanical idea. Jacobian. RDR, detail. Uh, and the rest is uh, identification of the region. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, one more example. Suppose this is example. I like this example. Suppose I want to find the volume, the volume, the volume below, below this surface. Z equal 6 minus x squared minus y squared. Below, below, below. Volume below this. Uh -huh. uh, inside the region. And this is the region now is defined using polar. That, that indicates that we solve the problem using polar. Is the R comma theta such that R vary from 0 to 2, comma, and theta vary from 0 to 5. Oh, it's easy. So say you need to find volume, volume is inside or within, within this region. Okay, this basically is, well, let me try, guys. Uh, we need to create the habit when you compute the volume and use a double integral or triple integral. Okay, let's see Friday, triple integral. Uh, to do one graph, first of all, of 3D to understand the big picture, no? And maybe this 3D don't give me the full information to understand this. Uh -huh. And we need to do the graph, another graph complementary 2D. Maybe one 2D or maybe two 2D in different, in different view. Okay, but don't worry. In 2D, X, Y, our region look like, like that, radius zero to do, and zero to buy, it's, 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 it's a dist, it's a dist. Well, actually it's a circle, no? It's a circle with a radio two. Uh-huh, but it's a, it's a dist. This is the ridge. However, <clears throat> what, what is this surface? Uh, again, I repeat always the question, what kind of surface it is? What kind? It's a, it's a blank, <clears throat> it's a sphere, I have no idea. Uh -huh. It's a hyperboloid. Come on, you never memorize this, no? It's enough for you. In another life, you memorize this. 
No, no, nobody have idea. What is the glue or the identification surface? <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Everything is a square? No. Does so, so no elixoid, no sphere. Okay, the collection of the variables X, Y, and C is completed? Yes. Nobody missing. You know, what is missing is, is no cylinder. Uh -huh. However, two square and one no square. Paraboloid. It's paraboloid. So you have two square um, and the other case, Z, no square, is paraboloid. No? Uh -huh. Wait, 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 relax. Maybe see, I write this paraboloid like that, you understand very well. Bueno, the only transformation that we have is a paraboloid, it's another paraboloid, but in this case, the Z intersect, the six. So my, my paraboloid open at the point 0, 0, 0,6 and open down because it's negative the paraboloid. No? <clears throat> yeah, I suppose that this is our famous region R. Uh -huh. Entonces, the thing is, compute the volume. How? Oh. Compute the volume of this. Compute the volume. Okay, okay, let's do it, let's do it. The volume is the, the double integral. Uh -huh. Double integral. Double integral of the expression. Of the expression. What expression? This expression. Okay, this is pressure. I copy Z here. C, get the high. C is the high. Okay, C is the high. But no C, no, 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 no. Because double integral never participates Z. You copy, maybe, <coughs> a 6 minus X squared minus Y squared. No, get the C value, this value. Pero no, 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 because I consider it much better doing Bipolar. Why bipolar? Because my region is circular. Uh -huh. Entonces, no, 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 no. Entonces, no like that. Si no es, let me erase that part. Uh -huh. And I copy here. No x squared minus y squared. I copy minus r squared. Que es the same. So you express the integral function using the variable in polar, que es r and theta. No x and y. So you cannot mix it in one double integral, x, y, z, r, theta. This is crazy. No? Entonces, de Jacobian, que es r, d, r, d, theta. Aha, uh -huh. and what about the limit? Bueno, the limit is easy. r, que es the first integral, go from 0 to 2. Get that? And theta go from 0 to 1. Okay, I skip. The calculation of this is pretty easy. <coughs> I did. And the answer is 16 pi. Okay. Okay, guys. I suppose it's enough for today. I suppose it's enough for today. Let me... Shh. I say you several times. I don't want to you change the background. So you are doing it because you want to annoy me, right? I interpret it like a disrespectful. Okay. Maybe you are doing no intentionally because you like this for it, but I don't like this for it. And it's my classroom, not your classroom. Okay. Okay, so now I stop recording.